Uh, fellas, if you ever want to feel inadequate, not needed, what you should do is go to an adult toy shop with a group of women. They have this huge wall there, all right, full of wieners. And that's when I realized I am not needed. <laughs> friends were talking, hey Susie, have you tried this one? Oh my god, Susie, you have to try it, it feels so good. <laughs> I looked and it was a dildo with little bumpy little knobby things on it. <laughs> Ladies, that's gross. <laughs> Why are you into that? I mean, I don't have bumps my wiener, I can't compete with that. <laughs> now, even if I did, you wouldn't want to touch it anyways. <laughs> They had this one vibrator there that you hook up to an iPod and it plays along to the beat of a song. I can't compete with that either. I did try once to strap a boombox on there and make love to my lady and she and I both almost got electrocuted. But believe it or not though, I do have a favorite thing to do with a dildo. I like to go to my wife's top drawer where she keeps it, take it out, go for a little ride down to the bank, put a little teller slide, a little tubey thing, and send it and drive away. Just get out of there, you know? Leave. Now, fellas, if you're wondering, it does work with vibrators too. You just wanna make sure you unhook that iPod first, all right? She will get pissed. I like to think about the bank teller in that scenario. She's six hours into her shift. She's ready to go home, and then, Dick right in her face. <laughs> Out of nowhere. How do you react to that? What do you do? What you gonna do with that dick, lady? That's what I wanna know. <laughs> Only thing you can do, press the button, send it back. <laughs> and I'm out of there, like I said. Next customer line pulled up. Reaches in there, pulled up, grabs a tubey thing. It's like, oh my god, what is this? Free dick day at the back!